Hey there, Philip here. This time around I want to talk about what's new in Dart 2.15, which was released a few days ago. And again, I love the fact that I'm now no longer at Google, so I can talk about stuff very freely. Uh, it's very liberating. I really enjoyed the last video about Flutter 2.8. If you have missed it, it's over there or in the description below. Whatever. Uh, now let's talk about what's new in Dart 2.15. The the best kind of update, in my opinion, because there's not much new to learn, but your apps will become faster and better almost for free, uh, which is fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look at the official blog post by Michael. Uh, the, the biggest news is making isolates faster. What I really like about isolates in Dart is that they make things much more saner than if you're using threats and mutex and stuff like this in, for example, Java. The problem with them was that they were pretty heavy and therefore pretty slow, right? And uh, in the past, that just meant that you use them a, a, a bit less often, or you kind of knew that, oh, it's probably not worth it to create an isolate for this. Well, not anymore, because now, just look, uh, 10, 100 times faster uh, to start an additional isolate, right? And you get this for free. It's, you know, when you create a spawn new isolate, like what you would normally do, it's in an isolate group with the main isolate, and so you get 100 times faster startup, uh, 10 to 100 times less memory, just amazing. So, so that, that's what you get for free. You also, the isolate doesn't need to uh, like deep copy everything when it sends stuff from one side to the other. And now they've optimized it and now it's, it's just fast. It's just like, you know, switching from one isolate to another. Uh, this also means that the compute utility function, if you're using Flutter, you may know that you can very easily create a new isolate, send it some function, and then uh, make it work on the different thread, and then just reap the benefits later. Now, compute is really fast. Before, when I was at Google, I was like, uh, please don't use compute a lot, because even if it kind of makes sense at some point, semantically, you just want to compute something, well, you're, if you're computing something small, then there's this huge overhead of the isolate. Not anymore. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. I think this is not just making things faster, it's unlocking new ways to program in Dart, because now things that you before you kind of were afraid to use, and for a good reason, uh, now you can just, yeah, create 10 new isolates and and make them work or create an isolate every second why not because it's almost for free also they're like um in passing saying that oh and by the way just s sending medium to small size messages which is what most isolates do most of the time is now eight times faster so yeah i'm very happy about this uh, oh, and you can now send function types, closures, and stack trick objects. I actually had a look here. I don't know if this was possible before. I don't think so. You can just basically... Uh, here I'm just sending a function and the data that the function should work on. And then I receive and I say like what's, what's received, right? And it works, so you can, I mean, to, to an, uh, an extent this was possible before, I think, because comp compute function wouldn't work otherwise, uh, but just, like, it's a closure here, you know, it's not some top-level function, so this is fantastic. Constructor tear-offs, if you don't know what tear-offs are, it's, it's just basically, you tear off the, let's say you have a class, and you have a... Um, method in it and you tear it off as in like you are just using the method itself as an object right uh one way that i remember it is just like you tear off the parents at the at the at the end right and then you can just do like g and run it as a function um a separate function so you're tearing off the method well now you can tear off a uh constructor so this is a new 
syntax that you can you can use. I don't think that in this case this is like the best use of of a function or of 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 new language features, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure, especially people building packages and libraries will find this very very nice. Um, not so sure if if I want to use it all over the place. But yeah, it's it's now possible, which also leads to a lot of other stuff. Like um, I'll I'll get to this later. I'll, I'm I'm going to look at the changelog as well, and they they go into more details. Enums are now now nicer. Uh, for one, you can just do an enum dot something dot name, and it just you know gives you the string of the enum. In this case, one. Um, this was possible before with a terrible hack because you could do do dot dot one dot two string uh just terrible so so now it's now you can do this you can find a value by name you can uh, find value uh, create a name map uh, which which goes from um, a string to the enum so nice nice this makes enums a lot more valuable. A new pop retraction feature, which again is good if you are a developer of a package, but it also uh, is important for you if you are just using uh, libraries. Now it's possible for you to be using a library or a package and then uh, when you you know update your dependencies, it can tell you, hey, this package has been or this package version has been retracted. This is important because sometimes you have a new version and this was maybe like they published the version in error or there's a big bug there and uh, there is no resolution yet. Um, so you want to have that uh, and I'm glad that they added this feature, but also it's still the case that if something is published to pub.dev, it stays there. There's no way to just like delete um, package from pub.dev. Maybe you followed what happened in like NPM and other package managers where it was possible for someone to just delete something that everyone else depended on. It's not a good, it's not a good look. And that's it for the blog post. And I also have the, the, the change lock and this is the tear offs, right? So if you've ever seen or if you've ever had to use closure that just creates a new instance of something, then now you just have a a.new instead of all that. Similar to this, if you have this in your code, type off something something in in to, to get a li type literally of uh, a generic function and a generic type, then uh, now you can just do that. Not a big deal, I think. This one is, I think, pretty pretty nice because they basically found a bug in the um, null propagation or whatever they call it. Um, it. That that's that. If you check for null and then you put it in a vari variable and then you check the variable and then like for you, of course, now i is not null um, until now the Dart wasn't as clever and it would still throw in a compile time error that and told, which tell you that, hey, I can be null. Well, it can't because you just checked for a variable. Uh, well, now it's clever enough to, to, to know it. It's just that you have to have your, because this is basically a breaking change, I think. So you have to say your minimum SDK is 2.15. Uh, and not lower. So just do it if if that's what you can do. If you have a class and you want the class to be const basically, uh, but you still want to keep it kind of open what's what's going on, you can do that now before it wasn't impossible. Async library now has unawaited can get a null. It can be nullable and if it's nullable obviously it doesn't do anything. Um, but you can now do foo question mark dot bar. Um, JS Util now has, uh, in some cases, zero overhead in calling things and reading properties and writing them, uh, which might be really nice for um, web 
Flutter web uh, projects and web projects in general. So that, that's just calling from Dart to JavaScript. They removed uh, Dart to native. So if you're still using it, just uh, start using Dart compile exe or Dart compile AOT snapshot. Uh, same with Dart format is now Dart format. There, there are new fixes and new lint rules, which is always fantastic. We don't talk about it too much um, as, as a community, but I think lints are, are fantastic. There's a new flag for if you do pop, uh, pop get, pop upgrade, pop downgrade for your example folder. Again, if you have like library and you have an example there, then this this might make your life easier. So so that is it. Again, I want to say that this is a fantastic version update of Dart because it doesn't add very many new features. It's I actually think that's a really really good thing because um, I, you don't want a language that adds a new feature every few months just because it's cool and someone wants it. Because what you end up with is a language where there are hundreds of features and it's it's harder to read to it's it's harder to for you to understand what other developers are trying to express with their code it's it, it's just like sooner or later things will get um messy you know i'm looking at you c++ but other languages as well just just you know, keeping a balance between, okay, some new features, but mostly let's keep it boring and let's keep it smooth. That's super important. And not everyone understands this. I want you, um, if, if you know, the next time you're thinking, oh, this would be so cool, that language has it and Dart doesn't have it, to think about like, okay, so what about 99 other things that that language also has that would also be cool but wouldn't that make dart less fun to use and less less robust and, and everything right one thing that happens a lot in like language development i think is that the people who want new who want new features they will almost always be more vocal than the people who are just satisfied with what they have currently. And, but the, the people who are kind of satisfied are in the majority, but the minority of people who love their new features will always be more vocal. And for the language designer, it then means that they have to either um, succumb to this and add new features or uh, they they have to be strong enough to be like okay no 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 I know that there are people out there who are not that vocal about a new feature or two, right? So I want you to be more vocal about this and be like hey hey, do we really need this feature? Do we really like want to uh, throw away the simplicity uh, for the sake of you know maybe saving a few keystrokes? I don't know. I, I, I'm on the side of the more boring, more predictable, more simple rules for the programming language, which make me, I think, more productive in the long run than a few new features that make my life a little bit easier here and there. That's it. That was a little rant uh, at, the, at the end. Uh, but uh, yes, I'm very happy with the new version of Dart. I hope others are as boring and as incremental as this one and see you next time.